Hey, it's me, Jeff, your favorite buff muscular anime guy. For some reason, my chat's always insisting on eating cat food and asking me to eat cat food. And I've always said no because I'm a sane human being. However, something got the best of me today, so I figured I would give protein cat food my best shot. I looked at my cat food bag, and I noticed that there's carrots, there's some lettuce, there's what appears to be fish, there's some kind of carb, and there's chicken here. Actually, it's turkey, but I don't have turkey, so I use chicken. So I collected all of those things, or at least the best I could. I didn't have lettuce, so I decided to use pickles. Um, I had tuna and salmon instead. I don't know what fish was on that package. And I also have my unflavored protein powder ready to go. So the first thing I did was thaw my chicken. It was so frozen that I actually couldn't break it apart, so I threw it under the hot water for a while until I could break them apart. I then took one of them and I sliced off a few small pieces. I then cubed those as small as I possibly could. I knew I was going to cook this in the end, but I still wanted to be sure that they were fine to eat, so I threw them in a frying pan. I then started on the salmon. At this point, my cat was starting to smell the chicken and the salmon, and she started coming to see what was going on. So the salmon was completely frozen, so I couldn't cube it, so I actually decided that once the chicken was done, which it was at this point, and I threw it into this bowl, that I was going to throw the salmon in there as well. I did also make sure that my cat got some of the chicken. I wasn't going to let her go without. You know, she's sitting there, she's smelling it, not, and, and this is the cat food episode, so I figured she deserved a small piece of chicken. And she enjoyed it. Look at her. She's eating it. She's about to look up at me all cute like, oh my god, I love you. I then moved on to the other stuff. I cleaned the cutting board and knife, and then I cut up these carrots, and I cubed them to about the same size, and I threw those in the bowl. At this point, the salmon was done, so I took it off of the stove. And on the back, there was the skin. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat that. So I decided to take it off. Uh, I've never wasted a thing on this show before. I even drank all of the pickle juice protein. So I figured it was fine if I removed the skin once. Once I did that, this is what it looked like. I then chopped it up all fine. I also made sure that my cat got some of the salmon. I wasn't about to put her through the experience of smelling that and smelling the fish wafting through the house and not getting any of it for herself. Because again, this is the cat food episode. It is directly inspired by her and my chat. So look, she was happy with that. So I then threw the salmon into the bowl. I took my pickles, which was my replacement for lettuce. I cubed them. I threw them into the bowl. And then I also had a can of tuna, which I drained, and I threw that in. At this point, I threw in a scoop of my unflavored protein powder. I also added some salt. I added some pepper. I threw in an egg, which I cracked masterfully. At this point, I had an idea, because my cat... Uh, sometimes I give her a singular, uh, piece of shredded cheese, and she always, she always likes it. So what I did is I, uh, to prove that this belongs in the cat food, I gave her a small piece of cheese. You can see her looking at it. She's coming in for it. She smells it, so I put that on the floor for her. Just a tiny little piece of shredded cheese, and she, uh, she also enjoyed that. So here's everything mixed together now. Uh, it didn't look brown enough to be cat food, so I added some Worcestershire sauce. And when I mixed it up, it didn't get much more brown. So I found this stuff in my cupboard. It's called browning sauce. And it says it's for meat. And I figured if there was anything that was going to turn this brown, browning sauce seemed like the proper, uh, the proper tool for the job. So I threw that in and I stirred it around. And sure enough, it was very brown now. So at this point, I knew everything was cooked. But I still wanted to cook it again anyways, just in case. So I laid it out in a pan and I threw that in the oven. I cooked it at 350 for a while. And then I broiled it for a while. And then this is what it looked like. And it smelled great at this point. And I threw it in a bowl. And there's the final product. Human Cat Food Protein Edition. See, this was a very interesting food. Because the very first bite, I was like, Wow, that could be a 6 or a 7. However, with every progressing bite... It actually got worse. So by the time I was struggling to finish the thing, uh, I think I give this like a 1 or a 2 out of 10. It was awful. Alright, I'll see you next Sunday. Goodbye.